the last item here on um, on today's tips it's actually deals with the stove and the stove once again is an item that rarely gets moved when it's uh, during regular cleaning so um, for this part or for this appliance is actually one of the appliances that that should get um, that should get uh, taken care of especially the bottom floor of it because you know it's, it's, since you're cooking you're gonna be dropping stuff you're gonna be dropping food or whatever and that food is gonna be collecting or start to getting collected on the bottom of the unit or of the stove so what you're going to need for this is very simple what you're gonna need is a vacuum or a broom you're gonna need a bucket of water with vinegar you're gonna need a cloth alright so preferably something that you can use from old towels or you don't use or stuff that or, or towels that you don't use anymore and you're also going to need a scrubbers alright so um, for these the first step will be to very simple pull out the bottom drawer of your stove and it's also a great time to clean the inside of the drawer okay so as you take it out once it's out you can wipe the inside of it second step would be to use your vacuum or broom to remove all the food drops that have been collected at the bottom of the floor of the stove right so what you're going to do is you're going to use your vacuum or do, or your broom to remove all the food drops that have been collected at the bottom of the floor step number three is actually to use your cloth right with the scrubber to mop underneath the bottom of the floor right so after that put the drawer back to its original place and you're done you know and you can do this once again on a monthly basis or you know depending on the frequency of your cooking then you can do it either once a month or twice a month or three times a month depending on the frequency of your cooking all right so um let's check out maria how she is going to be taking care of this uh last part of the uh, exercise and see you know a couple of things that you might uh, might not have um, seen here on the PowerPoint presentation and you're actually going to be uh, seeing it in action done by Maria okay so check check it out right now all right I, last part of the uh, exercise the stove we're going to be removing the drawer and we're going to be cleaning inside inside the drawer as well might as well right since it's, it since it's out let's do the do all right put it back and what we'll the next step is we're gonna be vacuum it right vacuuming it to pronounce it correctly So now we're going to be um, washing the floor, scrubbing it. See how useful that scrub is? Just gonna scrub all the dirt out. You can use your hand too to reach towards the back and be more detailed, right? On the little legs of the stove. See? Right where the foot gets caught, right there. Take it out. All right. And we're going to be taking um, all the dirt out, another pass of it, take as much as we can out of there, right? All right, here we go, working on the corners right there underneath. Are we going to uh, be uh, cleaning, you know, part of the frame? also of the drawer right the inside frame 
All right, so now it's time to put back the drawer. And we are almost done. And put it back on the rails and it goes. So just to recap, all right, so that you can remember, here are the top five tips for a healthy kitchen, okay? So the first one deals with the uh, moving the refrigerator. The second one is cleaning the ceiling fan. The third one is washing the top of the cabinets, any, everything that is on top and the top of the cabinets. Number four is cleaning the pantry floor. And number five is cleaning the bottom of the stove. All right, so these are the five key secret ninja stuff that you might want to implement if you want in your kitchen just to keep a nice, beautiful, clean, and organized kitchen at the same time, you know. And um, hope you liked this video, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope you put it to use if you like. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye.